Hello everyone and welcome back to Prodigal Overland. My name is Brad. If you're new here, welcome. In today's video, we are going to be updating you on some big changes. Big changes, there's a new rig coming, so stick around for that intro. Um, we're going to introduce that new rig. We're going to talk about why we got a new rig. And also, big changes as far as even location of where we're going to be. So, let's get going. But aren't you scared? I don't think I'll ever forget that question that was raised by one of our dear friends the night before we were going to hit the road full time. We had already sold our house and quit our jobs and we're about to set out and to an unknown adventure. Now looking back some two years later and over 50,000 miles, when I look at the places we've been and the people we've met, I have no regrets. I've often thought it would be so cool to have a book on your own life, to be able to know how your decisions will affect the future. But unfortunately, life doesn't work like that, and you can't seek adventure and safety at the same time. So to all those of you who have joined us out on the trails, out on our adventure, thank you so much for being a part of our story, and here's to the next chapter. All right, so what I would love to do in this video is give you the three big changes that are coming. One of them you caught in the intro video, um, which is we've got a new vehicle. Uh, we bought a 2021 Jeep Gladiator Rubicon that initially we're gonna be leaving bone stock to do some comparison videos between that platform and the WK2. So look for those to be coming out as we kind of get caught up here. Um, the Gladiator's got about 11 inches of ground clearance and the WK2, the way it's built out, I think actually has a little bit more. Um, but obviously the Gladiator's got a better four wheel drive system, more articulation, lockers, the, the whole bit. So it'll be interesting to kind of compare those two to see how they stack up. So that's the first big major change. The second one is, is we are going from full-time travel. So the last two years we have spent traveling full-time in a 40 foot fifth wheel and we've toured all over, man. I was looking back through videos to when I was making this intro and Pennsylvania, Michigan, we were up in Drummond Island. We've been in Moab several times, Sedona, Arizona. We've been to South Dakota. Um, North Carolina, we've been in Tennessee, we've just been all over and it's so much fun to go back and look at those videos and to realize that our very first event that we put on um, was in Pennsylvania at Roush Creek and that was I think just, just over a year ago. So in that time we have hosted dozens of events and have been all over the country. And so we really enjoy doing those events. Those events will keep going, so don't be scared. They're gonna keep going. Um, but we're taking kind of a minute 
because what we're doing now is we're moving from that full-time travel lifestyle to actually having a home base. So the last couple videos we've done have been shot in North Carolina and our second big announcement is, is that we will be buying, we're in the process of buying land and we'll be building a house here in around the Asheville area of North Carolina. Lauren took a job in a hospital system nearby. She's an occupational therapist, so she's gonna be and has already started back to work these last few weeks. And I will be transitioning to uh, continue to work on the videos and homeschooling her three kids, which I've done before. And I also do telehealth. I'm a physical therapist, so I'll be doing telehealth and have been doing that. So we've got a lot of transition happening like right now. So if we've been a little slow with videos or there hasn't been time out on the trail, that's why. And the third thing I really want to kind of talk is just the channel and the trips. If you've been out with us, um, man, we just have a blast when we go out together. We've had lots of folks ask us when our next events are going to be and they're anxiously looking forward to them and they're, they're coming. Um, because of all these changes and being in a brand new area to us, we really want to take time to get to know the area, to get the, our feet under ourselves with all the kind of other things that are happening with the transition and, and, and transitioning from full-time travel to, to having a home base. There's just a lot of changes happening there. Um, so we want to take that time, but the events will continue. Primarily, they're going to be located kind of east coast, Initially, um, this area, Tennessee, North Carolina, Georgia, Florida, maybe, if you guys got good stuff down there, um, we haven't been down there yet, and, and just kind of East Coast stuff. We are going out West again this summer, so there'll be some events out there. There's already one set for June in Ure, Colorado. We're going to be back there with David McKay and the McKay Photography Clan, and that's going to be a blast. So the events will come, but there's a brief pause as we are trying to get our stuff all sorted out. I think another change that you're gonna see with the channel itself is obviously there's a new vehicle that will have lots of content to put out, some comparison vehicles between the Gladiator and the Jeep Grand Cherokee, as well as as we, and once we do start to build out the Gladiator, there'll be content there. Um, and I think once that Gladiator is built out, it's gonna let us do trails that we can't do in our WK2, so there'll be some of that. But then too, I really want to make this into an overlanding vehicle with a, you know, probably a tent over the truck bed, freezer, and, and, and more just getting out and exploring those kind of videos. So look for true overlanding kind of stuff to come. We've been honestly much more heavily into just off-roading, but that transition from having a fifth wheel to a smaller vehicle that can actually get out into the sticks a little bit better uh, I anticipate that we're gonna have more of that content coming as well. So another big thing, a big announcement that's coming is, man, we are just shy of 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. So if you've been watching us for a while and you're not yet a subscriber, like we're 150 away. So it would just be awesome if you've been dipping your toe in us for a while, that just go ahead and subscribe. Like they don't steal your money or anything crazy like that. Um, it just helps us grow. And so I would strongly encourage you to do that. We're excited about that. I think the last thing I really want to address is kind of the, kind of pull that curtain back a little bit and talk about why all the changes. Um, we, after two years on the road, I was kind of getting tired of moving my house all the time. Um, these things, these fifth wheels, any of these RVs are not really put together to be living full time in them. And so as you start to see things kind of crumble or you feel like you're forever fixing things or moving things, um, we really just missed a home base. And so we, we love community. We love being around people. And when we have our events, we have that community. And as we travel, certainly we've made some awesome friends. But really looking forward to having a true home base and a home that we can host people in. We just, I mean, both of us just love hosting. So I'm sure once we have a house that we're in, um, man, we'll just love to have people out and host them. So that's partly it. The other part of it is, is we've got growing kids that are outgrowing their space and, and a, a daughter that's going to definitely need more space as she's going through her teenage years. And so some of us that, and then honestly, for our family watching is, is we've been away a while um, from our family, who's mostly in the Pennsylvania and now Maryland area. And so we wanted to be a, just a touch closer to them so that we're seeing them more than like twice a year. So those are the, kind of the reasons why, as far as finding a more permanent location. On the rig side, the new rig, 
man, I'm really excited to be able to conquer and, and take on some trails that are a little more and beyond what the WK2 platform can do. So that's partly it. I, I Like I said, we're going to leave that thing stock for a while to compare them, but then definitely look for us to be upgrading that and having not a monster truck, but I, I do want a rig where I can tackle some things that we can't quite tackle in the WK2 platform, as well as having just a vehicle that we can take out camping. Uh, I got kids that are excited to do that and and not Nora. <laughs> but the boys, I think, enjoy that and want to get out more and, and I want the freedom to, to go explore and to be able to do some of that. So that was kind of why we're bringing in another vehicle there that, that's able to, to handle some of those trails. So guys, thank you so much for your support. Thank you for following us to our patrons um, that help support this channel. We couldn't be doing all this without you guys and, and hopefully the content we're producing and, and now that we have a home base that we can be trying to do more kind of meetups in this area once again we get settled. We are feeling very much like we've gone from warp speed and we're trying to slow down so there's a lot of changes happening for us so please bear with us as we transition over these next couple months. Uh, but once we get our feet under us and feel like we're planted firmly look for those things to be starting. Uh, I really think realistically, next trips that we'll be planning will start in the spring once we've kind of gotten a feel of the area and, and know what we're doing there. So look for those to start up again on our website and we certainly will make those announcements. All right guys, I've done way too much talking. So that's the update, big changes, and we're gonna keep growing, um, but we're gonna do it more in this beautiful area. So. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for your support. And we will see you guys again real soon.